соперник нокдауна. Сенцы определил нокдаун. Почему Рой Джонсу привезли именно вот этого боксера? Мне кажется, он его может уложить на любой сек... на любой минуте. Вот он первый нокдаун Капичева. Четко, ярко, быстро. Похоже, Но, похоже не встанет. В раунде. Да, 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 да. Ну вот. Так долго мы ждали этого боя, и так быстро он закончился. Ровно полторы минуты, половина раунда. staying behind the tight defensive package early. Short left inside and Wolf is stunned. And the right over the top and now Wolf is holding on. Glenn Wolf has never been knocked down. But he's probably never been in against a 160-pounder with the power of Roy Jones. Oh, what star quality. Jones just now beginning to get warmed up. He threw about four left hooks in less than a second there, George. Oh, what a left hook inside by Jones. Dances, drops his hands, and pounds away. And Glenn Wolf has had enough. I thought, I thought he's indicating that. But for him to nail him with a big punch. Jones and the 
first round of every fight is to check the chin of his opponent. He wants to land at least one heavy shot, power shot against Antoine Bird to see how well Bird can take it. Already Jones has been to the body with the right hand and slipped in a quick left hook to the chin. An extended left jab. Sometimes he paused with it, sometimes he snaps it. But it's really the length of the jab and its importance as a defensive weapon. The other fighter you should keep in mind as you watch this is James Tony, because they may be on a collision course. This guy is almost impossible to knock out. But Jones has him in trouble a little bit now. Midway through round two. Malinka hunting now to try to get himself out of trouble. Roy landed an explosive left hand in there. Malinga seems a little bit outside of himself now as he wails away to try to get Jones off of him. Roy looking for an opening to throw the right. Fence. Jones landed another left hook. Now Jones switches to a southpaw stance and lands lead left hand. And Malinga's in serious trouble. Another lead left hand out of the southpaw stance. A new wrinkle for Jones working big time in round two. skin a little bit though. I mean, Roy hasn't seen this too often and probably doesn't like it much. He's been very calm I think though, Jim. Good left hook by Roy Jones. Oh, he rocked Brandon with a solid left hook and now he's got Brandon wobbles. Here we go. Here we go. And I think the punch what? that started go, that go. was a left to the body. That started that whole Again. combination. Well, in some instances, it's not how many you land, but how much they hurt. And there's that snapping left hook by Roy Jones again. And there it is again. Wobbles Brandon again. Brandon having trouble for the moment, staying on his feet. Lipton watching closely. Jones blinding Brandon with his overwhelming hand speed. Boxing gloves. Now Bannon's going to make this. Look at how calm Jones is in there. Hands up, blocking punches. Look, look. Bannon's just pounding away at Jones's arms and gloves. I mean, at least it gives him the right to throw a lot of punches, which not too many people can do against Jones. But he's getting hit so much in return. He's nailed Jones with a couple of right hands, but again, it uh, doesn't seem to bother Roy at all. And he lets the guy throw his punches, and he's okay. Now it's my turn. Now he's got a bomb. 
from there. The Trenton crowd can't believe what they're seeing. They were so psyched for the possibility of Bryant putting up a big fight against Roy Jones. And their man is just getting hammered in there now. Ron Lipton watching as Roy Jones tattoos Brandon. And then Jones says, look, you want more? Okay. the best fighter in the world. Reaching Roy Jones. You gotta climb a mountain one hand at a time. That's it, one punch at a time. It was before the bell. Ooh. It was before the bell. Six. Six. Gordon gets up easily. Hey, all right, Tony. To beat the that's eight counts. And now that's, that's the end of round number three. Round over. Cannot be saved round by over. the bell. Round. The he round saved either. because he got up at the count of eight. Jones in that round, 31 of 84, 37%. Thornton landed five of 18 punches in round three. Or round right, two, I should say. Thornton in trouble. Can't punch back. Come on, Tony, got a fire. Got a fire, Tony. Got a fire. That's it. That's it, that's it. That'll do it. Too much. His shoulder hurt. Too much. The referee yeah, did him a good it. favor. Martin pointed to his left shoulder. He's had right now. Garcia thinks he's in a leather factory. Pulling away from these punches so difficult to hit fighters when they move back like that. They hit them solid. Oh, good right hand from Jones. Good left hook from Jones. And he stays on his feet. Rolling around. Trying to dodge the punches, Garcia. But he didn't dodge that one. This is the round James Tony got to Danny Garcia. Cannot be saved by the bell unless the final round. And he doesn't beat the bell here. Just got out of the way of that right hand, tried to counter with his own, and, and came close himself. But neither of them landed solidly. That own just lands against the ropes. And the left hand, Brett Down he goes! That's the fight right there. And it was that right hand that was down by his waist. Got clipped with the left hook sitting on the rope, Glenn. In stunning fashion, Roy Jones Jr. goes to 16-0 with 16 knockouts with the big left hook. Roy Jones very much an entertainer in the ring. So it was the idols, Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard. And uh, Jones uh, says that he spends as uh, much time in putting together some of his He has not even broken a sweat coming into this opening round. And with a young Tiger of fast starting like Roy Jones did, this is over. Jones goes to 12-0 with his problem. Opens with a left hook. And Jim, the one thing I don't like about Percy Harris, and there he's down already. You have to remember that he's only had one fight this year. The first looping right hand caught him right on the temple, and down he went. Jones going to the body. Percy Harris motioning Jones to come on in, saying, bring it to me. I don't fear what you've got, but Harris is in serious trouble again. And Jones, aping Ray Leonard, throws his gloves in the air.
before trying to pound Harris back to the candle. Percy Harris gives Lamar Parks all kinds of trouble. And he's a solid puncher. We're really seeing something Four, tonight in Roy Jones. Five, six, Landed solidly, and now there's blood coming out of Harris's mouth. And down he goes again. The third knockdown of the bout. Four, as round two comes five, toward a close. Six, seven, Hey, I'm going to right as he backs up and moves away from Harris. Another right cross. Harris in trouble again. Can Harris make it out of round four? Not without going down. Three. That's it. That's it. And Tony Orlando has seen enough. That's it, man. Good try. So referee Tony Orlando calls a halt to what was four full rounds of sustained punishment meted out to Percy Harris by Roy Jones. So many people in the ring were having trouble getting Michael Buffer's attention. And Jones decides to dance with Richard Hall. Legs wobbling under Richard Hall as Jones sizes him up. Minute and a half left to go. Straight right hand lands. Jones was on his back foot for that one. Now he puts power behind the right hand and down goes Hall. Second knockdown of Hall's career. Jones finally finds a neutral corner. Hall was up before the count began. Hall had better hold on. He can keep swinging against Jones. The one thing about Roy Jones, he has not been a good finisher in a long time. Well, he hadn't had a first round knockout since 1997 when he knocked out Montel Griffin. For the Indianapolis fans, Hall has not landed a punch in this round. Jones is the only fighter in CompuBox history to score a complete shutout through a round. Benny Pazienza was whitewashed in one round of Jones Pazienza five years ago. And there's a big right hand that momentarily wobbles Hall. I haven't seen a guy that cocky since Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, this is this is cocky stuff, no question about it. This is like an exhibition at the county. punches against Jones. Jones just popping and moving away. Why doesn't the referee stop it? What is the point? What in the world is doing? Come on. This isn't competition anymore. This is a bloodletting. This is absolutely preposterous. Richard Hall should not be taking these shots. Thank God. Thank God for Roy Jones to stop the fight. That was disheartening. Hall is saying, you shouldn't have stopped the fight. But the sad thing about it, Jim, these are guys who have no pitching play. Jones lands a solid left hook to start the fight. Let me tell you, that first left hook hurt Griffin. And so does the second one. And Mercanti calls it a knockdown, saying that only the ropes kept Griffin up. It's very apparent that Jones is coming out stronger this time. Huge round for Roy Jones so far. And Roy Jones is playing the fainting game and Griffith is benefiting by it. Oh, what a left hook. What a left hook. Second oh, knockdown of the round. That was a leaping left hook and Griffin may not survive it. He's got trouble. Nine. And that's that. Jones gets his vindication via a first round knockout. And it was a left uppercut. Unbelievably quick left hand shots. A barrage of them in round one by Jones. And he finishes off Griffin with a half hook, half uppercut, a la Oscar De La Hoya. Here's Roy Jones. Hey, Roy Roy winning the fight. Just uh, Roy Jones making it difficult for him. Oh, so that is a shot. big shot by Jones. And a terrific shot. Hillman not be able to get up. He, he's acting as if he broke the rip. 
What a titanic shot by Roy know. Jones Jr. No. That's it. One shot to the ribs. Mike, look at him, he's still slumping down. What a shot. What a bomb by Roy Jones. And a guy that has not put fighters away with the right hand or with the one punch. We've seen the left hand all the way. And that is a new way for Roy Jones to end the fight. And that is just dynamic. That, that's, you learn something every time you see this man get in the ring. One of the questions about Roy Jones Jr. has always been the critics feel that he's managed by his father and that that doesn't work as a synergism, as a twosome. And yet Big Roy, as he's called, has said that he reads where managers say they become like fathers to their fighters. He says, I don't have to become nothing. I already am his father. Oh, my. Oh. Big right hand by Roy Jones. That will, that will finish it. Just forget about it. Art Serrano got hit with an overhand right that puts him out, and I mean puts him out. So shades of the Jorge Baca fight. You know, I always say that regardless of what talent you have, it comes a fight sooner or later where your talent will not carry you there because of the style of the opponent or whatever. Same like, they learned that yeah, on yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Again. Once again. Third knockdown of the night. Who never saw it. You know, that's pretty amazing because between rounds, Alton Merkerson, Roy Jones' his hand-picked trainer from Pensacola, him to go ahead and get the knockout and said we've got somewhere else to go i don't know where else they have to go but they can go now maybe roy's most proud pleasing performance in the past few years yes